Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a Google Analytics account, specifically how to set up a Google Analytics Universal account. So Universal is the old version of Analytics. Since October 2020, the new version of Analytics, which is called GA4 or Google Analytics 4, has been the default that you get when you sign up. Now, GA4 is still in beta and it doesn't have all the features that GA Universal has. And as such, you might want to sign up for a universal account or both universal and a GA4 account. Now, if you've never set up a Google Analytics account, this video will also show you how to do that. It's very easy to do. All you need to have in order to sign in or sign up to Google Analytics is a Gmail email address or a Google based email address. My email is powered by Google Workspace. And so that um, it's similar to a Gmail account in that sense. And it gives me access to all of Google services. So very first thing you want to do is go to this URL here, marketingplatform.google.com forward slash about forward slash analytics. I'll post this URL in the video description. Otherwise, just go to Google and search for Google Analytics. Now I'm just going to click on start for free. I'll just move this little annoying widget. Oh, no, there's two of them. The reason I had to move this widget is because you're going to want to click on this admin button. If you already have analytics accounts set up, if you've never set up an analytics account, your screen's gonna look a little bit different than this, but the steps to go through to get started is gonna be very easy. So if you're in analytics and you have multiple accounts, the first thing you wanna do is click on admin. This will bring you to a screen that has three columns. Right now we're only seeing two of them. So you've got an account and within an account, you can have different properties. So I set up an account for all my clients and you can see here I'm on batch five. So I think you can have maybe 50 properties per account. So I'm going to click on create property. Now, all of this is pretty straightforward here. You give your property a name. So I'll call it test for now. This would be the name of the site. Here you want to pick your time zone. So I'm based in Canada. And my time zone is here in Regina, Saskatchewan. Then you can set your currency. Okay. As you can see, what catches your eye is this next button. And if you click next here, you'll continue through the easy steps to set up an analytics account. But what will happen is you'll set up a GA4 account. If you want to set up a universal account or a GA4 account and a universal account, you have to click on show advanced options. Now, if you click on that, you'll see that you get the option here to create a universal analytics property. And you have to actually toggle this switch and turn it on. Once you do that, you get the option to create both a Google Analytics 4 account and a universal property. So I'm just going to create a universal account. And what you need to do here is put in the website address. Um, so I'll just for now, for testing purposes, put in my own website address and then click next. Now here's a bunch of questions that Google's asking. Uh, what industry are you in? And you'll find these are sort of vague. Like I usually just pick other, I try to just get through this list as quick as possible. You could actually completely skip this if you wanted to. So you can just say create. And there you go. Your analytics account is now set up. Okay. But it's not connected to your website. So now what you have to do is you have to connect the, the website ultimately to your Google Analytics account. Otherwise, anyone could just go and create a Google Analytics account for anyone's website. Um, so what you will have to do is grab this bit of code here. Now, depending on how your system works, you might have a plugin that allows you to connect to Google Analytics in a way where all you have to do is enter this code. You know, follow the instructions of whatever platform you're working with. The the most basic way to connect. And I guess the hardest way to do this would be to actually copy this code. And then you need to go to your website and it'll give you clear instructions here. It tells you to copy and paste this code into the head tag. Okay. 
So now if I go to my website and I just need to access the code view of the site and I go look for the head, there it is. And I would go paste it there and then just publish. And the account is now connected to my website. Now with our, our system, we have a module um, that allows us to just connect, just to show you another way to connect your analytics depending on the system that you're working with. And so I would just click on connect and then just fill in the fields the system asks for. So the first is the tracking ID or this UA number. So I'm going to punch that in there. And then it asks me for a view ID. Now that number, if you're in Google Analytics Universal, you have to take a step back and then go to your view settings. So previously I was in the property settings. Um, but if I go back and I go to the view settings, I can then grab that number here. And basically this number allows me to actually view the analytics in another platform, such as this content management system here. Google is now going to ask me for permission um, to allow me to share this data as the analytics account owner with this third party site. So all I have to do here is just say allow and that's it. Now it's connected. So that's how easy it is to set up a Google Analytics universal account and then how to connect it to your website. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching.